Carnivoria is super simple, super straightforward, but still it's kind of like, really, so what do you eat? So I just thought I would record a couple days of what I eat. The first time I took pictures of everything I ate, I got sick that day, and so this is the day I had some lemon juice and I had some throat coat tea, which are both plants and technically not allowed on the carnivore diet. So I start my day with black coffee. I like coffee. I have quit coffee before and I just like having it. And so I have black coffee. I have, I found that my need for coffee has gone way down. I think I just have like that energy boost that I, I'm not trying to like boost myself up with caffeine anymore. But I still start like starting my day with a couple cups of black coffee. And this is down from a lot of cups of black coffee. Then for breakfast, I just had leftover London broil with tallow and sea salt, and I do use a microwave, and this is something that um, people are always surprised. They're like, you care about your health and you use a microwave. Yes, I do. I've gone like probably five, ten years without using a microwave. I don't see a difference other than in how many dishes I make. So microwaves are just awesome for reheating food. It's not like I don't cook in the microwave, but for reheating, I think that's just fine. Um... Then because I was getting sick, I had throat coat tea from Traditional Medicinals. I love Traditional Medicinals. They're actually based out of my hometown, um, Sebastopol, California. And so I got sick, and then, so while I was sick, I was seriously questioning my lack of vitamin C in the carnivore diet, and I'm like, eh, I'll just squeeze a couple lemons in some water and uh, see if that helps. And I didn't, it wasn't real sick. It wasn't like I was deathly ill or anything, but I just thought I would put some lemon in some water. Um, then I took the kids to go get meat. We got this big old box of meat, which is if you're going to do carnivore diet affordably, buying your meat either through a subscription program so it just comes to you, or buying it in bulk from your local farmer is fantastic. Um, after meat, it was super cold out. It was probably below zero. Um, and then I have broth, um, which is usually left over from cooking whatever I cooked in the Instant Pot. I just pour all of the meat juices and the fat and everything into a jar, heated that up, again, microwave, added some salt to that. Um, two pieces of cheese, because cheese is super convenient and it's good, and I had other things going on that day. Um, and then for dinner, I had steak and butter. <laughs> and so I just was, I grilled up a steak on a cast iron skillet, and I put some butter on it, and that was good. So that's it. You can see it's super straightforward to eat on the carnivore diet. Um, this is very basic. I feel amazing eating like this, but you can see how simple it is. Click up over there and check out my results from starting the carnivore diet and how surprised I was at how great I feel at this way of eating.